So I'm going to share with you what I've been doing the last couple years that has really helped me. You're at home and you're like, oh, the kids are, you know, I don't know what to do with them. I, you know, and they're like, I'm bored. It's like day one of summer vacation and you hear I'm bored. You're like, oh man, this is going to be a long summer vacation. I learned years ago, break up your days. Each day of the week, you kind of have a theme, like you pinpoint one thing that you're going to do. So we have our normal routine, we have our chores, we have reading, they have to read. So you throw in one of these. Okay, so like Mondays, make something Monday. You could bake, you could cook with them, you can um, do a craft with them. Just make something, create something together. That's fun. Tuesdays, take a trip Tuesday. And I've heard it be called take a trip Thursday too or Think Tuesday. So you could switch them around. So ours is Take a Trip Tuesday. So that means you could go anywhere. Like, hey, let's go visit this museum or let's go to the park. Let's have a picnic in the park. Let's go play volleyball in the park, basketball. Look and see what your town has. You know, uh, summertime is big on festivals and um, carnivals and just see what's in your area. I found out that our local uh, movie theater, well, in the next town over, has um, dollar movies for the kids on, I believe, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And they're previously, like, shown movies, they're older movies, but a couple of them my kids haven't seen, and they show uh, a different movie each week, and you pay a dollar to go in. Uh, you could do uh, a nature walk, like, get out and go somewhere. Wednesdays is, like, wet and wild. We do something... Anything that has to do with water, you could take them to a pool, you could take them to a water park, you can have a water balloon fight, squirt gun fight, things like that. Thinking Thursdays, that's what we've been calling it. And this is something that you can do that's creative, that gets them, like, gets their minds moving. Like, you could create a science project. You guys, there is so much on Pinterest. You could do these fun little, little experiments with the kids, like, so fun. You could go to the library, just kind of, you know, like the, the summer um, homework, you could do that with them, but make it a little bit fun. So something Thursdays that gets their mind thinking. And Fun Friday, it's a free for all. You could do stuff that's games, scavenger hunts. Like look up on Pinterest, there's so many ideas that you could do. Fridays could be movie night in the backyard, camping. I mean, let them decide like what they want to do and just do it. And usually Saturdays or and Sundays you usually are doing the family thing. But I love this structure because if they wake up and they're like, I don't know, which, you know, and you've done your chores and, and all that, and you're like, oh, I'm bored, what is there to do? And especially when you don't want your kids plugged into electronics the whole time, it could be really hard, like, oh, what are we gonna do with you today? So it's nice to know that you kind of have an idea of something that you could do with them. And another fun thing that can help you in this process is make a summer bucket list. There are bucket lists all over Pinterest, you guys, all over. This is one that I found, and you can have them geared toward teens, geared toward little kids. So just an idea, and you could throw these ideas on your set days of the week, like there's make and eat ice cream, that's fun. Uh, go to a festival, visit the zoo, go to a farm, wash cars, my kids love to wash the cars. That is a fun one to do on Wet and Wild Wednesdays. They love washing the car. Water balloon fight, make Play-Doh, fly kites, sidewalk chalk, mini golf, make pizza, go swimming, play in the sand, read a book, visit the beach, ride bikes, picnic, play at the park, cook out, wagon ride, relay race, play frisbee, a lemonade stand, plant a garden. There's so many ideas, you guys. And I love that these lists already have a whole bunch for you. So you can sit down with the kids at dinner, you gotta go pee? Okay. Run, 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 run. It's Wet and Wild Wednesday, they're out in the pool. Sit down at dinner with the kids at, or at breakfast and say, what do you guys wanna do this summer? But my biggest tip for you, which um, was hard for me, was their, our family therapist told me, go with the flow. And he goes, you know, have your routines and do that, but he goes, I want you to put like the full structure away. And he says, go with the flow, and you will be a happy mommy. And I was like, and when he told me that, I was like, what? Go with the flow? I was seriously like, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> and you wanna know what? You're not as tense, and it really works. I thought I don't wanna be a video, because you won't be a video. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Hello, Mom. Hello. 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 Hello.
Uh, so seriously, moms, that was the biggest lesson I could have learned that I would love to pass on with you is just go with the flow. And you know what? The house is going to get a mess. It's summer. But if you do your chores and things like that, you know, that helps. But enjoy it. All right. Have an awesome summer, moms, dads. Seriously, enjoy it. They are little for a very short time. Okay, bye.